Yo, what is up everybody and welcome to another Man 13 online game. Today we got the 49ers and the Patriots. Could this be the Sunday night matchup of 2012? Last time the Patriots were supposed to be in a uh, matchup of the year, it ended up being a completely one-sided victory. Right now, it's a 7-0 game, like a two minutes, less than two minutes into the game. Since I made a nice interception right away on third down, pretty much came right at me. And we take it to the house for seven, so um... Quick start for that 49ers defense, and that's just what it's worth to take the 49ers. They're just all defense. Though, um, the Patriots, they got an offense. So, there's any team that could beat the 49ers defense, it's the Patriots. And you see, um, this dude Edelman breaking tackles and stuff like that. Getting the first down with a big time play. And, um, next play, Steven Ridley decides he's gonna go into the Marshawn Lynch beast mode and get a touchdown. So, that's cool. And, um, this is a double header video. There's two, um, games in this video, so. First game I'll have the um, 49ers, next game I'll be playing with the Patriots, so we'll see how that goes. And um, right now we're just giving it to Frank Gore, Randy Moss, working the ball downfield, trying to get a feel for what he's doing on defense and how we could beat him on offense. And um, trying to keep the ground game going. Of course, when you got Frank Gore, dude breaks 500 tackles a game, so you want to keep on giving it to him. Though we also want to take your shots, especially when you try um, stacking the box down for the run, and we take a shot for... Uh, What's his name? Delaney Walker. And we get a touchdown. So that's cool. Second down there. He probably should have first down. But dropped pass. Thanks to the 49ers defense. Though on third down. He does convert to Julian Edelman. Next play. Looking for somebody. Anybody. Going deep. Nope. That's Carlos Rogers making the pick. He's not getting that. Our defense comes up with the second pick of the game. And Carlos Rogers tries to take this one back to the house. Couldn't avoid Brady though. But still we got it pretty much in field goal range for David Akers. Probably need like a yard or two to feel safe about it. But we just knock ourselves right back out. Trying to get a little bit of trickery in. Next play called a screen for Frank Gore. And Frank Gore has a lot of space here. He puts his guy away. And that allows Frank Gore to go all the way into the end zone for the touchdown. The screen pass. A good 44 yard touchdown touchdown and all of a sudden it's 21 7 really early here what are we in just starting to some um, second quarter here so you know we just gotta make plays on defense of course you know with the 49ers defense they're the one t uh, team that can make plays on defense and um this is only what the second time i've taken the 49ers all year i don't really like taking them because they're just overpowered and stuff like that i don't know I, I for some reason i like taking like lower teams like um, the Vikings or something like that. I like matching up in lower teams. I feel like I do better like that than against somebody who has like a super team. But um, we're in a super team matchup right now. That's the way it's gonna be for Sunday night. That's why it should be a good game. And um, the San Francisco 49ers are more disciplined, so they probably won't get blown out. You know what I mean? Since they got, you know, just everybody playing good in that defense. The Texans have a little bit of injury problems and stuff like that. But um, here he goes for the field goal. Here we make a nice stop on third down and. He's Trying to go for the onside kick here, but we call a timeout since we were in an onside kick thing. And we just call our onside kick formation next time. And um, he tries to squib it, but I guess they patched up the squib kick. This dude just caught the ball right away. And um, I've seen that a few times, so I guess they patched that part of the squib kick. Make it less possible for people to recover in like cheesy plays. So I guess that's cool. And um, we call another screen here for Frank Gore. Getting a lot of yards, making some moves, trying to make all the offense um, and defensive people miss. And then here, Frank Gore, run. All the way to the end zone for a touchdown. Frank Gore, you know, he just you keep giving the ball to Frank Gore and he will make you plays. That's just the way it is. Oh, this is the way it has been for the 49ers for how much years, even when they were bad. And um, just keep on throwing it to the defensive end. I, whatever, um, linebackers. Throw it to anybody on my team. I'll take it. He's throwing his, what, third pick of the game. Our defense is holding up just the way we expect them to be. And um, they give me a good team like the 49ers. I'll make some good plays on defense, or they'll make the good plays for me if I call the right plays. And that's what happened. Though on third down and three, nothing open. I just tried running out, making a play. It didn't really matter how far I ran out because um, the field goal attempt was however long. And we tried to go for the fake field goal, but I'll tell you what happened. David Akers is a left-handed kicker, so the ball ended up, like, on the other side. So, Alex Smith had to throw across his body. And then I was hitting A, and there's actually no A receiver. So, that's why that went bad. There's actually two pretty big reasons why that failed miserably. But, um, I thought it would work. But, um, next drive, we get one of those cheesy 49ers plays where, so, um... I, at least I was the one that made a user big hit, but still just a cheesy 49ers play. And right after we get the fumble recovery, we throw the screen pass to Frank Gore, making sure he doesn't run to his own O line and fall down. He keeps his balance, gets in the end zone, touchdown. And my man is about to bow out. Just a little bit too much for him. 35 to 10. And plus, I was getting ball ahead of time just to put that on top, but we're not even going to know what happens because he's gone. And, um,. On that note, we're going to head into halftime, or halftime show, I should say. Let's just pretend it was a halftime. 
Week 15, since I'm doing this at like 8.44, um, uh, this is a pretty bad week for me as far as like my favorite teams. Giants lost, Cowboys and Redskins won, Steelers lost by virtue of the Cowboys winning, Adrian Peterson is a monster, the Colts lost to the Texans, which I kind of expected them to. I mean, the Colts, they, been, they have a pretty weak schedule, so they probably look better. Their record looks better than it probably should be in a way, you'd say, but um... And plus, the Texans are a really good team nonetheless. Even though they got blown out by the Patriots, it's the Patriots. They were able to rebound. And, um, let's see, the Bears look terrible against the, um, Packers offensively. Second time in a row that the Packers, the Packers just have Jay Cutler's number right now. Jay Cutler can't seem to do anything. Only time they really got a touchdown uh, was, um, Brandon Marshall just going beast on the, the old secondary there. But, um,. Besides that, Antonio Brown made a great play to fumble the ball in the fourth quarter with that punt return, and um, I don't know, I, mean, I can't really remember anything else. So let's just get into this game here. Second game of the doubleheader. We give it to Stephen, Stephen Ridley, I'm not sure how to say his name, Stephen Steven. I'm pretty sure it's Stephen though. And um, we get the, f we don't, I, I don't even know we got the first down there. But um, we almost got the first down to Gronk, bringing up third down on one. We actually try um, passing the ball here, and we get it to Gronkowski. Gronk ended up becoming a right wide receiver, thanks to whatever um, Audible I did. I audible out of a play, and he ended up being a wide receiver, and he ended up getting the touchdown there. Well, Pretty easy. Makes you think. You put Gronkowski as a um, receiver on the outside. He could break press and just be a beast. And I'm here. Oh, man. I wanted that interception. I couldn't get it, though. And um, third down, I made up for it. I made up for it. I shot through the gap. Forced the four down and four. But he ends up converting to Vernon Davis. So, um, you know, we do what we had to do on our opening drive. And so far, he's inching the ball up. He's not getting big plays or anything. Plus, we're not really allowing him to get big plays, but he's not hitting anything big. Lifting more than 10 yards. Third down and inches. Tries to call the pitch, and we contain it perfectly. Bringing up four down and one. And we should have had Vernon Davis stop, but he shook off my tackle. Man, I wish... I, I always say, I wish Madden would reward you if you make user plays. Because I made the user play to stop Vernon in the backfield. and said, um... He gets the first down there. Ch Patrick Chung drops a pick. We had a drop pick earlier by, I think, McCordy. I'm not sure who. And then four down and 13. He ends up converting to Ted Ginn. And um, Colin Kaepernick was putting everything on the money for some reason in his opening drive. Ted Ginn, I was just trying to lay him out there. And we did a pretty nice job laying him out. And then here, Vernon Davis, one of those one-handed catches with the left hand. I'm not sure why it happens so much in this game. But, um, I don't know. It's just Madden, man. One-handed catch with the left hand. What are you going to do? And then here's second down. He's maneuvering out the pocket with Colin Kaepernick. Gets the first down. First down and goal at the five. Trying to get him with Frank Gore there. We stuff him. Second down and three. Can we make a stop this time? Nope. He gets the edge with, um, I believe, Walker. And Frank Gore is in the end zone. Pretty much untouched. And he ties the game. Leaving us only a minute left to do something. We don't even need a minute. We just need about 12 seconds to get downfield with Jeff Demps. And he's going for the touchdown. And now we broke that tie game. He drove down the field for how long? We just got a kick return for a touchdown. And we only had a minute. And now he's the one with about a minute to make something happen. So, big time player. And I actually called a timeout on my last drive. To make sure he would have milked the whole clock. So, you know, <laughs> as a strategy. And I don't want to say it worked against me. But I don't really care, man. But now he's, um, I think he got a delayed game penalty. I'm not sure why. That's just, anytime you get a delay game penalty, that's just dumb on your part. Second down and 15, speaking of dumb, my um, defensive back made a dumb play and didn't make the um, catch or the interception or whatever he should have made. But it's okay because I got his back. I'll make the interception. He's trying to go to Vernon, trying to make some sort of spec catch, but we got that. Second second time, just like the last video where I got the um, the catch in the corner there. I think I got um, the other guy, Whitner. Now we got it with... Um, McCordy, Devin McCordy. I'm not sure why he's playing safety, but whatever. And we want to make sure we get some points out of this drive, so we just dump it off the Ridley here. It had back angle route, and we get into field goal range. Easy kick for Gotkowski, Goskowski, whatever his name is. And we go into halftime with a 17-7 lead. And um, right after um halftime, he gets the ball, and we force a fumble, but we don't get it back. And I think he wanted to go to Vernon, but we covered that, and I don't think he's like. We're about to test me again, so that's cool. We um, establish ourselves on defense, kind of canceled out the right side of the field whenever I'm there. But the left side is also canceled out. Actually, hold up. I'm not even sure. Yeah, the left side. We just canceled out the left side, too. Gerard Mayo making a big-time pick. Next play, calling the screen. Jeff Demps, open field. 
all the way in for the touchdown thanks to someone making a nice block some sort of chip blocking we got a touchdown 24 7 feeling good at this point I and mean, um yeah we love the big plays so we're not really that worried he's getting completions but no big plays and right now he needs a few big plays to make sure um he can get back in this game and plus you know we get the tom brady let off in, so i'm feeling cool about that here third down to 13 he just dumps it off i'm okay with that because it's fourth down and four let's just trust our defense to make sure they can make a stop but unfortunately they don't mail for some reason let's get and get over him and gets the curl then here vernon davis i was playing that shallow and he gets the third down conversion for a first down and you know still not getting any big plays and this is probably the biggest play he'll get and it comes off of a freaking Pass interference, so that sucked. I thought I could try making the pick instead. I don't know what happened. The next play, this dude who screwed up earlier, Dernard. I'm, I think he's a rookie because some injuries in the secondary for the Patriots. He's out there, and he just got us a nice pick. Next play, we're calling the halfback pass, and we don't even need a pass because Jeff Demps is gone. That 98 speed is going into the end zone. Touchdown, Patriots, 31-7. We have blown this game open. It's only a matter of time before... This man quits. So we're, we're going to try to make him quit as soon as possible. I don't want to drag this game out. We want to make him rage or something. So, um, you no, know, once again, we're not giving him the deep ball. We'll give him whatever. And, um, let's see. What, what, um, matchup, which, um, game would you guys like to see the outcome come out to be better? We'll see. I mean, I probably won't be as blow out over games as these, but, um, we'll see. Fourth, he's getting a lot of fourth down conversions, by the way. I think he's perfect on fourth down. So, he's got that going for him. Whenever fourth down comes up, he gets to make plays. And, um, Colin Kaepernick making plays with his legs here. But, um, yeah, we'll see which, um, out outcome you guys will like better. You know, I would personally root for the 49ers outcome. I don't know. I'm really, I'm really cool with either. As long as um, Steven Goskowski does not score more than seven points in the game. Because if he does, I'm dead in fantasy, and that would suck. Big time. Here, he gets a nice play. Um, I was supposed to be playing the outside. He ended up cutting to the inside. Nice route there. The next play, a keep to leave on the pick. I don't know what kind of route that was, but we just get out of bounds. We're not going to chance anything. Um, get a touchback, but it doesn't even matter because after that, he decides to concede a defeat. So, we'll take the skill points or whatever. We're getting quite a few skill points out of these wins, these blowout wins. I usually don't get blowout wins. Usually the games are close, but I'll take these wins, man. And on that note, I hope you guys liked the video. Subscribe if you haven't, and I'll catch you guys next time.